Okay, good afternoon. Welcome to another walk around the farm to check out the flowers. This is the white double clematis. The buds are starting to open. Isn't that pretty? This is not something I planted here. This is something that grew, I'm assuming from a seed that fell, because at one time this fence this fence line had quite a few clematis growing across and up and down it. And, uh, well, this is one of the things that happens when you have more than one type of plant. They breed. <laughs> and I'm very lucky because this is a beaut right there. That is a beaut. All right. We're going to go around this way. The rose that I thought had expired this year is back. It's called Quadra. It's hardy in northern climates. And it is just peaking close to the top of the greenhouse. See it? It is a double red. Absolutely beautiful rose. Very hardy. And there it is. There will be more blooms as the season moves forward. And then, of course, below it, we've got the Wigella. Still going. Beautiful pink. Okay, and then we've got more roses to show, too. Well, we've got the beautiful yellow iris. I like those. It's an interesting color. Usually you see blues or purples. I don't remember where we got the yellow from, but I like it. Here we go. Look at that. The peach. The peach, peachy ones are just starting to open here. And there's quite a few. Let me turn this way so we can look at that all the way up there. Whoops. Yeah, they're way up there. This one's growing well, as you can see, <laughs> it's very tall. It's a big rose. And then around the corner here, we come around to the garage and, oh, look what's peeking out. It's just one, but it is pretty. And there's the clematis. And there's Sashi being a pain in the butt because that's what Sashis do. Yes, Sashis are pains in the butt. Yes, they are. Don't let me trip over you. Come on, I don't want to hurt you. All right. Let's take a peek this way and see how our other roses are doing. Oh, here are those lovely pink ones again. Oh, look at the size of that baby. Look at that. That's what they look like when they first start to open that bud. Very beautiful. And then, of course... Quite a few on that branch and then we have a little red one peeking out through here there it is right there little red one and then of course over here we've got some pinkies single pinks very hardy i believe these to be canadian most of them in this little area are canadian look at all the buds look at that those will all open shortly. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. And there are baby apples all over the apple tree. Check it out. Look at that. Get a little closer so we can see. There's some. They're just everywhere. They're just hanging off the tree everywhere. So let's hope they have a good grip. And... We will have apples later in the season. And let's go see what else is blooming. We're almost at chore time. But I've got a few things to do before that. There is our absolutely gorgeous peony. Single pink. Lovely nonetheless. 
and pretty soon we're gonna have some oh my mind is drawing a blank today um oh poppies big orange ones look at all the clover and then we've got some wild flocks i think that's what it is i'm not really 100% on that, but I don't think it matters. It's really pretty. <coughs> and then along here we have, well, the damage that the county did yesterday. Plus, we've got some lilies that are starting. They're not out yet, but there is the uh, greens for them. And then we've got those lovely little... Um, I think of them as like a perennial geranium, like perennial cranes bill. I'm not sure that's what it is, but they are really pretty and they're spreading nicely. As is the poison ivy, I know. Oh look, this is, this is true a species rose. It's just a single white. Nothing special. They smell heavenly. And look at the buds on that shrub. Just look at that. Looks like uh, on the eastern side of the shrub there are more flowers. I don't know if you can see them. I'm kind of... We picked a few ticks off a road yesterday, so... I'm a little hesitant to go walking through a lot of different places at this moment. Ah, screw it. Plus he got bit by another spider. And there goes Dave, running a marathon. <laughs> Here's the eastern side of that bush though. They're just single whites, but they do smell pretty. And then, of course, most of the blossoms have faded from the pawpaws to be replaced by fruit, hopefully. Coming soon, I hope. Pretty soon the raspberries are going to start. Look at that. Pretty soon. Can't wait for that. Okay, let's look at the smoke tree. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, we'll take a short walk down to the mailbox just to see the roses. It is a hot sunny day. I'll give you a 360 here. As we head into the shade, ah, oh, that's much better. Whew. Wow. A little warm today, folks. I'm sweating. Like a stuck pig. But, rather warm than cold. That's what I say. And Therese Bionet is the name of this rose. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? She smells delightful. There's some in the grass. Look at that. Little shorties. Little bitty shorties. But look at how pretty. Look at that. I just love them. I gotta come out here and move some of these before the county decides they're gonna tear them all down. They have pretty much cheesed out whatever was here in front, as you can see. They just dropped their blade and chopped away. 
obviously they don't care. Here's another one. Therese Bunet, that's her name. Therese Bunet has thrown out a lot of runners, I would say, underground runners. I'm pretty sure that's how she's surviving. She has a cousin, Marie Bunet, which is white, and she didn't survive as well. She died several years ago. There's a lovely allium. Still have a few pollinators hovering around. We've got some honeysuckle. And we'll walk a little bit more, I guess. Why not? Let's see what's out here, shall we? Yes, let's. I think that's a gooseberry bush right there. I'm pretty sure. Which is good. Okay. Let's come down a little bit. Ooh, this, I'm, I don't know what kind of tree this is, but look at all the flower buds on that baby. You know? Like I said, I'm not sure what kind it is, but it should be beautiful. Whether it's a natural flower, you know, native, or we put it here, it seems like you know, beauty is just beauty, right? Yeah, look at this. This is another, I think it's another Wygella. Let me untangle that. Knock that one back a little bit. This is an interesting one because of how the flower colors. Look at that. And wait till they, all these buds come in. You see all the buds? Wait till these all start to open. And I'm able to show you what I, oh wait, here's one that is open. Look at that. They almost look like plumeria, like wedding flowers from Hawaii. Very beautiful. And here is our very wonderful uh, honeysuckle. This one goes from red down to orange with a yellow throat sometimes. The hummingbirds love them. I don't know what these are, but they're pretty. They look kind of like a, it's like a mimic of a, um, a raspberry bush, but no fruit. But the flowers are kind of nifty, aren't they? Those are kind of pretty. And then there's lots more of those. And then in that mess, way back in that mess, in that big old tangle, there is some more honeysuckle. See if we can see it actually. I don't know if we can or not. Where is it? Come on. It's got to be up there somewhere. There it is, right there, right in the center. See it? I see it. All right, well, we're not getting a good focus on it, but anyway, so that's that. There are more roses in there. Maybe at some point we'll set our sights to getting in there somehow. I will have to dress up very well and take a dive through some of that weedy nastiness. Because it gets, <laughs> it's pretty weedy back there. And the gate here has fallen. It's been closed for so many years that it's about a foot buried in the soil. I can't get it out. I can't get it to move. I'm sure we could with a tractor, but I'm just not up for that. Getting too old for all this. Oh, and as you can see, I see the uh, trumpet vine is starting, starting finally to put up its green. It's one of the last things to turn green around here. <clears throat> and we'll come back to the Therese Brunets because I just can't get enough of them. Look at the coloration. Isn't that beautiful? And the buds. Oh, they just look. Look at that. We have some here that are already done. 
but there are plenty more to go. Plenty more. They are everywhere throughout here. Okay. Let's get back up and around the corner. And hopefully a breeze will catch us. Oh, looks like uh, we sawed off some of the willow tree. And yet, look at that. It's growing back. That's what scrub willows will do. So yeah, yesterday we had a couple of run-ins with ticks. Thank goodness for nail polish. And Road got bit by a, a brown recluse. No big deal. We were able to take care of that. We just used a drawing agent. In this case, it was tea bags, as hot as he could stand them. But tea is a wonderful drying agent. It works very quickly, and it's able to pull out the kind of venom that a spider can put in you, at least a brown recluse. I'm not real sure about more venomous spiders. We only have, I believe, two kinds here that are venomous. But yeah, I think that is so interesting. We started with one pawpaw tree and now I have an entire grove. I love it. Species, that's a true species. Native to this part of the country. That rose. This one here, I believe to be small and either pink or red. That will be blooming a little later. I didn't even stop to look and see if this other rose had started yet. It should be in bud. I don't know, I don't see a lot of budding going on. It sure does have a lot of growth though, good lord. Oh, there we go, now I see the buds. Oh yeah, tons, they're in there. They will open shortly. Yes, they will. What up, Dave? Looks like we have kitty cats laying around everywhere. It's time to get out here and start clipping away, man. I need long sleeves and some clippers. Look at those beauties. There's a couple of roses. Oh, there's a bud on that rose over there. Okay, we got to go look at it. I spent quite a bit of time weeding yesterday. Didn't get nearly as much done as I wanted to, but did get some of it out of the way. And let's see if we can see it from here. I don't want to have to go all the way in if I don't have to spideys and all that, you know. Oh, look at that. Yep. Let's see. There it is. There's one bud. And then down on the stem, there's a lot more buds. But that's going to be a double red. And then this rose here got clipped back by mistake last year, but I do see that. Look at this. It's got buds. So, we are definitely going to have roses on this one. Yep, little teeny weeny little buds everywhere. Okay. Oh, hi, sweetheart. There's one of my goat girls. There's more of them. They're all chewing on their houses and laying around. They have quite a lot of pasture. They're all hanging out in the shade. I got to get out there and get them fed pretty soon. I can hear El Jefe having a, a cow because I'm not there. Hello. There's a kitty on a rock. <coughs> oh, 
Okay, excuse me. Oh, and then we have all those wonderful uh, grapevines, wild grapevines, along that fence. And I think what we're going to do is go find, the, oh, there it is. I know where my bucket is. I'm good. And uh, let's go put our camera away so we don't lose it. Oh, I'm just so happy with all the roses that are coming out. I just really am. And the smell, oh my God, if you were here, I'm going to tell you, the scent is something else. I'm just shocked that Quadra is making an appearance. And quite an appearance it is. Now I see like four or five, six, seven, eight. There's a bunch of buds hidden in there. I don't know if you can see them or not, but they're, 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 they're there. There we go. Okay, they're hiding down in there. Yep. Okay. So on that note, let's get a pretty picture of the Wigella, and we'll close her off for the day and get our shit done, because I've got some chores to accomplish. So there's the Wigella. Thanks for joining me on another exciting garden tour between weeds and garden. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Have a great afternoon. Peace out.